Hey you doing everyone? It's about 3 in the morning and I thought I'd just bust out this quick video since Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 have just come to GOG and a lot of people seem to be wondering what exactly the deal is with these new releases. Are they ports from the PS3 360 HD collection? Are they new PC versions? Or are they just the shitty PC ports we got back in the early 2000s but with Windows 10 compatibility? Well, I mean, just have a think about how crap Konami are and that answer should become pretty clear to you straight away. These are just those bare bones original PC ports which have basically been abandoned where for two decades up until now, except now you can pay a pachinko company $20 to legally own them if you like. Starting with MGS1, there's really just no reason to play the PC version of this instead of just emulating it on your computer or playing that PSN digital version. Other than the fact that you can save anywhere and the subtitles scale with your monitor, it's really just an inferior version in every way. As was often the case with ports back then, it's just missing half the cool effects from the PSN version, like motion blur, controller rumble, and portrait transitions in the codec. Pretty much all the PlayStation references they made have also been cut out, so stuff like Psycho Mantis reading your memory card and uh, unplugging your controller, or Otacon telling you to change the CD, none of that's in here. The default controls for X input are also really fucking weird, and the game references PlayStation bindings that don't even exist. Uh, like when you get a codec call and the game tells you to press select, so you press select but nothing happens, instead you have to click down on the left thumbstick. It's very bizarre, but at least you can remap most of it, I think. Graphical options are basically the same in-game as they were back in 2000, but you can also bump up the resolution and fiddle with the AA and texture filtering in DirectX config in the directory. The big problem that a lot of people, including myself, have with the look of this PC port is the fucking texture filtering they used. Rather than just the textures being sharp and pixelated like they should be on an emulator or PS1, Everything just looks very smoothed out and stretched. This is probably going to come down to personal taste, but I think it looks way uglier than the blockiness of those old textures. In the original port, there was also this horrible glitch where the full motion videos just wouldn't play at all. So all of that real life footage of Desert Storm and nuclear bombs going off and wars just didn't work for whatever reason. I haven't had the time to test this for myself, but this user in the GOG reviews seems to reckon that's fixed in this release, which is great, if that is the case. Overall, I really don't think this is worth the 10 bucks they're charging for it, which says a lot, because it's just 10 bucks. GOG seems to have taken that original port of Integral, added Windows 10 compatibility, fixed the FMV glitch, and basically just called it a day. You're going to have such a better time if you play it literally any other way than this. All the fun PlayStation stuff is gone, the graphics suck, it's still glitchy, the default controls are bizarre, and I just don't think it's worth paying money for. Emulate it on PC, grab it for the PS3, or just play it on an original PlayStation, and I promise you're going to have a much better time. Moving on to Metal Gear Solid 2, and it's a similar kind of situation, although definitely not as shitty as MGS1, thanks to a fan-made patch that's been out for a few years. There's not as much to say about this port of the game, except for the fact that it's missing a lot of the post-processing effects from the PS2 version. Uh, it doesn't display in real widescreen, there's a good amount of glitches, and the default controls are still pretty shit. You're probably looking at the video of me playing and thinking, wow, this guy sucks. But my question is, what kind of a monster makes you aim with the start button on your controller? I would never recommend playing the vanilla version of MGS2. But that's exactly what the GOG release seems to be. Lucky for us though, there's a very good fan-made patch out there by a guy named V that I'll link below. It adds support for custom resolutions, proper widescreen with relevant FOV fixes, great bindings for multiple controller types, and fixes most of the graphical glitches in the original port. I think it's very weird that GOG didn't bundle this with the new release, considering they've used a lot of community fixes in the past. Either way, if you have to play this port, this patch is going to fix a lot of your issues. I played through the whole game with it about three years ago and thought it was a pretty decent way of playing MGS2. Some graphical glitches still linger and they can be pretty distracting, which sucks for a game where presentation and immersion is such a big factor. It's a decent way to play the game in widescreen, but I don't think it can match the HD collection on consoles or emulating the PS2 original, which works very well these days. I think GOG is a great service and I love the Metal Gear Solid series, but this is a really disappointing release given how little effort has gone into it. There are far better ways to play these games on PC, and I don't think Konami deserve your money for how bad these ports are. I mean, it's bad enough that I had to buy them to make these videos. 
I usually like to buy old Japanese games that come to PC, just so more developers over there get the idea that there's a demand for these ports. But this is just not worth supporting. I guess it's kind of a similar situation to the Mario All-Stars port on Switch. At some point, we as the consumer just have to say, nah, I don't want to buy this and make companies think that they can get away with low effort ports. Emulate them on your PC or pick up the HD collection for the PS3 or 360 and you're going to have a much better time than these GOG versions. This has been a very quick, low effort video at like 5 in the morning, but I just wanted to let everyone know what the deal was before they potentially went out and bought these releases. I do make real videos with proper editing and writing too, and if you want to check those out, I recommend my review of the Austin Powers games or the Project Restoration mod for Majora's Mask 3D. As always, I want to give a big thank you to my mum and the boys for making it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks again, and I'll see you when I see you. Good night.